If you're a headlamp user, you know, sometimes you need a little more spotlight, sometimes you need a little bit more floodlight. It all depends on what you're working on, where you're at, and what you're doing. This is gonna fit a lot of people. This is a new Nightcore HC68. It's gonna work for hunting, it's gonna work for the job site, it's gonna work for working on cars. It's awesome. It's a must have in my opinion, but you have to see this user interface. It's an absolute dumpster fire. Let's go through this guy top to bottom. Stay tuned. So here's a close-up view of the Nightcore HC68. Very comfortable, very easy to use. You have your spotlight on the right, flood lamp on the left. You have TIR lenses over top of this. You have some good lighting in here. In the, you have a 4500K color temperature. So it's not gonna give you the blue hues. It's not gonna give you the yellow. It's gonna be perfect for most uses. Now the weird part about this is you have a button it's over here to turn this guy on. One tap. Now if we bring it down to low, which you have a minus sign and a plus sign, I can hold the plus sign and take it over to the spot. Hold the minus sign, I can take it back. Now if I go up one, I can't switch it, which is annoying to me. But if I am up one off the lowest setting, I can push the button and start to switch between the two. Isn't that weird? Now I push the other side and it starts switches back to the other, which is great, right? So now when we're on anything but low, we can switch between spot and flood. So that's perfect. I absolutely love that. It's just confusing because if it's on your head, what's that going to tell you? Now we're on both and we kept the same amount of um, spot to flood and we can go up and down with the plus and minus. So that part is super cool. Now, if you're in anything but the lowest section and you want turbo, you can just push and hold the power button and you got turbo for 60 seconds. That puts both of these on super high 2000 lumens. And you can see here we have light going everywhere in front of it, but 60 seconds drops down to whatever it was. So if it was off and you push and held turbo, it's gonna turn itself off. If it was on low, it'll go back to there. Boom, right here. So cool, right? Weird part, this also has red lights in it. And if we double tap, we get the red. I think this is great. If you're working on a car, you're trying to find different lights, you're whatever you're doing, you're on construction site, wonderful. You have red on low, red on high. Then you have a blinking red, and this is where I think it gets weird. You push it again, now you got what is like a beacon. So it's a flash. Push it again, and you have an SOS. Now the weird part about this is it's not, it doesn't continue to go around. To get back, you have to push minus. So there's no circular pattern in this. It's just a plus and a minus. And when you get to the end, you're at the end. When you push the minus, you're at that other end. So getting through this, that's the basics. There's actually quite a bit more, but that's all you need to know to get really into this and say, you know, this is what I'm looking for. So let's look at the cool parts on charging. So if we take the left cap off, we can see we have an NL1835HP battery, 3.5 amp hour, eight amp output. Pretty nice. Now there are O-rings on each side. This comes with new O-rings, but the weird part when you look at it, you won't find the charging port. And this is a USB-C charging port. You have to unscrew the side over here to get to it, which is quite a distance. It's not super easy, but we can plug this guy in. And what I think is cool, we got a blue light here, right? Tells us what's happening, says it's charging. Now when we unplug it, we can count. One, two, three, four, pause, one, two. 4.2 volts. That's pretty common on other flashlights, uh, but here, it's nice to see that that's incorporated. You can see how your battery is actually doing. All right, underneath here, this is what I absolutely love. I have a spotlight here that I can move around and 
I have a floodlight that gives me light everywhere. I know it's tough to see with me moving my head around and I get it. There's nothing to see underneath a brand new tractor. Uh, but if I go up, oh, that's down. So that's what the down is on the left, up is on the right. Look at the amount of light I can get out of this thing in multiple areas. And if I push and hold, I get more flood push and hold to the other side, I get more spot. And I think that this is great if you can kind of get yourself right in the middle, right here. That gives you an immense amount of light and a perfect situation to get light in direct areas, but yet at the same point in time, light up everything around you. Let's get a little bit further away and just take a quick look at what this does. This is kind of a 50-50 of spot and flood. I have enough flood that I can see outwards with all my peripheral vision, but yet I have enough flood forward that I can spot something. And this is what's cool for outside. Now, if I go more to flood, this is 100% flood. That is the most I'm gonna get. And it still lights up a ton of area. And I can drop down to next to nothing, which, is really nothing on that I can see. It would be great for maybe inside a car or anything like that. Now, if I just go here and I hold, I bring in the spot. Now I'm completely on the spotlight. But even with that spotlight, the way they have that dual lens, I still have enough light in my peripheral vision to walk outdoors, which is cool. But I think where most people are gonna use this, is gonna be somewhere in between. And then when you look at the amount of light that I can get without blinding anything, and if I want to work underneath something, I have a ton of light that I can get in certain areas without getting that white out. And I think that that part is cool. And then I can just drop this down to what I need, and it's perfect. So it's an awesome light. Absolutely love what it does. I find it very hard to control and it might take some time once you get used to it. It just doesn't seem very intuitive. What's happening with it seems to be a little more complicated in some cases than it needs to be. And to try to do it while it's on your head and remember everything that this light will do, knowing that there's no circular pattern to everything, everything is up and down. It just kind of throws me. I'd love to hear what you think about it. And again, I've covered about 40% of what this light will do because I think that's what most people will want. And if I continued on into all the craziness that you can do here, I do believe I would just take some people right out of the market and say, that's not for me. So I gave you the simplest of simple versions of what happens here. I still screw it up while I'm using it, but I still grab this thing every time I'm underneath a vehicle because I can get light where I need it, not just around the shadows. I can get it through spots and into places where I really need it, or I can just light up large areas. And if I was out hunting, I have not had the chance to use this hunting yet. I can get more of a spot. It all depends on what I'm doing. Am I tracking? What? There's a lot here that is awesome. So definitely check that out. I appreciate your time, guys. Give us a like in the video. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.